My name is John Zawada. And my name is Eric Anderson. We decided to uh, do a solar, residential solar project at our house. When we first moved into the house, uh, we moved into a, a ranch style home that has a very long, large roof with cathedral ceiling, so there's a, a lot of roof area. And, and I noted that probably would be a perfect spot um, configuration for a solar project. That was in 2006, a long time ago, and of course at that time solar was very expensive. And then Eric joined the Sustainability Commission and he heard about Fija. Mm -hmm. For me, um, going solar goes way back to when I was a kid. Um, I remember my father's an, a union electrician uh, with Local 134. And uh, sometime in the 70s, um, dad was unemployed, you know, the economy was soft, and he went back to school. And he started taking classes, and one of the classes he took was on renewable energy. And he would bring home all sorts of fun projects that he used to do with us as kids. And so it was solar cookers, and um, he introduced the idea of solar back then. And so John and I have been talking about going solar for quite some time, and I just know it's rooted in my childhood. Yeah, so FIJA is state legislation that stands for the Future Energy Jobs Act. And um, it's um, a large piece of legislation out of Springfield um, that um, spoke directly to um, renewable energy, but had a lot of solar aspects to it. Um, and so, um, you know, there were solar subsidies um, that we were able to access through that state program uh, when we put panels on our house. And then there was also a federal tax credit um, you know, that is decreasing now, um, but it's still around and it's still pretty substantial. Yes. Um, we just got our, our, our income tax um, uh, income taxes done a few days ago, and uh, we're going to get back a sizable portion. I mean, seven thousand seven hundred dollars or something like that is the credit that we're getting just in respect um, of the solar panels that we put on. And that's just from the feds. That's just from the feds. Yeah. So with the FIJA Act, we were able to get about. So we spent twenty five thousand dollars putting the solar panels on our roof. Um, again, they cover the entire back um, of our roof section, um, and that covers basically um, our entire energy usage for the entire year. Um, so we spent $25,000 on that, got about $12,000 back through the FIJA Act from the state, and then another almost $8,000 back from the feds. So all in all, it cost us about $5,000 in round numbers. I mean... I mean, w once we learned about the subsidies from the state and the federal tax credit, um, we just couldn't say no. Um, and then um, the system will pay for itself in five years. Five years is our, is our payback. And the panels will last 25 to 30 years with the ending up, you know, after about 10, 15, 20 years at an 80% production rate. Um, so we'll have this for the next 25 to 30 years. It was a financial no-brainer. You know, we were at an Elgin Green Group's 350 meeting, um, um, and we were there for a trash presentation, but we ran into a solar installer then, but it happened fast after that. But before then, we were doing our research. Um, you know, the city has a uh, online solar marketplace um, that's called Energy Sage. People can get there by going to, I think it's cityofelgin.org forward slash go solar. It's kind of like the Angie's list of solar installers and on that site and getting some free quotes anonymously and mm -hmm. talking about it over dinner and um, as soon as we met um, our installer in person by accident we didn't even know um, we were going to hire this guy but we met him at an Elgin uh, Green Group's three, uh, 350 meeting. It happened fast. Um, all in all a few months. It started off online but then we started reaching out and looking for people who had right. solar and so well, for example we talked to Robin Magala um, here in Elgin and uh, she's a huge solar advocate and she has solar mm -hmm. on her house. And she answered a bunch of our questions. Um, we didn't talk to the mayor or his wife, but they were on our list of people. Um, it just as soon as we started talking to people, and there seemed to be no downside, it happened fast. Right. Um, one of the we got quotes from numerous different uh, installers. Um, one of the installers that I did ask for a list of, of references, and I talked to three oh, 20, of yeah. those people who had solar on their house. They all loved it. Um, but as soon as we met Garrett um, from Sunheat Solar, I mean we. He came over once to our house. We gave him a check that day, signed the paperwork, and we were off to the races. It was fast. From 2006 to when Fiji passed, the major opposition was cost. Um, I believe the $25,000 that we spent today would have been even higher back in 2006, but Fiji overcame all of those fears. Um, and we also did some math um, on our own to figure out how much money we would save. 
Also, all of the uh, solar installers also do studies um, on how much sun you can get, the facing of your house. Um, there are certain orientations of your house that are better than others. If I'm not mistaken, south is perfect. Our place is south, um, southeast, sorry. Um, and so southeast is like the second best. Um, and like I said, with the size of our roof, we're basically able to cover 100% of our electric usage. And as soon as I did that math, I was like, well, this will pay for itself quickly and we won't have electric bills for a very long time. Yeah, um, I talked to my father a little bit because he's an electrician. Um, and he was, of course, concerned just because it was his son's house. And, you know, um, he's always worried um, when it comes to us thinking through things entirely, especially when it comes to electrical, which I know nothing about. We needed to upgrade our, our electricity panel. That's correct. Um, but that was easy because um, the installer um, referred us to, you know, um, an electrician. Uh, my dad's retired. Um, otherwise, we would have used my dad. Um, some people um, were worried about um, like urban legend sorts of things like um, is Illinois really a good place to have solar it's not like Florida or Arizona where it's sunny all the time and so um, there were some of those objections but our research found that those are urban legends and you can totally have a great solar system here in Illinois um, some people were worried about what it would look like on our house right um, would it be ugly um, but our panels are on the back of our house, and even if they're on the front of our house, I don't think that it, I don't think that would have caused any trouble on our part. But some people asked us, um, and then we also have a metal roof. That's the one thing we haven't talked right. about. Um, a year or two before, we had put a, a aluminum roof on our house for energy efficiency purposes, and we were concerned about whether or not um, installing panels on the metal roof would invalidate our lifetime warranty. And so we had a actually do some research with that um, roofing company. Correct. Um, and um, you could actually totally install solar panels without damaging a metal roof. Um, I want to say there's some videos on that Energy Sage online marketplace um, that the city of Belgium runs. Right. If more people want to learn more about it, there's great videos and blog posts um, there as well. And if you don't have a metal roof, my suggestion would be to put your solar panels on right after or concurrent with redoing your roof. Um, that will give you the longest time horizon um, with your current roof that you have on there before you need to take the solar panels off, redo the roof, and then put the solar panels back on. Yeah, there's actually some really great, again, blog posts and videos on um, the, uh, that website that I was just talking about, cityofbelgian.org forward slash go solar, uh, about roofs and tining and solar systems. We don't have to do anything. Um, in fact, I have heard it suggested that, uh, I mean, some people have tried to, like, you know, after it snows, go up and clean off their solar panels. <laughs> that is not suggested in any way, shape, or form. I have not tried it. I have been tempted. Um, but just let the snow melt, and, and then you'll start producing after the snow melts again. Um, you can... It's better to keep all of your limbs intact rather than try and get the snow off. Yeah, the panels are also black, and so um, they're really, you know, um, the snow melts faster on those panels than they do on other um, surfaces as well. So it's not a big deal. And then back to the, uh, the, the appearance question, there are actually options um, on how you want your solar panels to look. We have a very dark roof. It's dark brown. Um, so we actually went, it, went with a pure black with no lines um, solar panel uh, for aesthetic purposes and it actually I would say looks quite nice and matches the rest of the roof very well. People can't even tell if they're standing out in front of our house and that we got solar panels. Right. I would say um, one thing that if I can go back and do it again um, and I love our solar installer um, but we were really the first um, Elgin account that he had um, he had done some solar um, um, for Elgin addresses out in like the unincorporated areas, but um, this is the first time that he was interacting with the city of Elgin's like code enforcement department and you know um, you know community development department, and so there were a few times where he would put plans in, and um, they would be sent back to him, and it caused some delays. And so um, when when you go and um, get quotes um, from installers. One question that you may want to ask them is if they've done business in Elgin before, because it makes a difference.